your time. Welcome to today's lesson. Today, our geography lesson, uh, we are going to discuss weather. Our topic of today is weather. So before we continue and find out more, we shall go straight to the subtopic of today's lesson. And the subtopic of today's lesson is uh, instruments for measuring elements of weather. We learned previously on elements of weather. So we shall review them. We are going to have a review of our previous lesson. Who can remind us some of the elements of weather we learned? Yes, Jacqueline? Mm -hmm. Very good. Wind. Uh -huh. Any other person with any answer? Yes, Andrea? Okay. Yeah. Temperature. Temperature. That is good. Yes. Charles? Air pressure, very good. Yes, I can see we all remember what we learned last time. Yes, another person. Yes, Kennedy. Humidity. Humidity, yes, that is good. Aha, uh -huh. have we exhausted all of them? No. 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 We still have some. Yes, let's. Rainfall. Rainfall, that is good. Aha, uh -huh. finally, let's get one. Benedict. Good. Let us confirm if what you have given us is what we learned previously by checking what you're going to have on the wall. So the first one we talked about temperature, the second one <coughs> clouds, and you told me about clouds cover. If you check at the next one we have rainfall, yes we talked about rainfall, then the next one we have wind, we have air pressure, we also have sunshine, and finally, we have humidity. So those are the elements of weather we learned in our previous lesson. So after we discussed the elements of weather that we learned last lesson, we shall move straight to the elements that the instruments we use to measure the elements of weather. Is there any instrument you know that you can use to measure any of these elements of weather? Anyone who knows any weather instrument, or so you've ever heard of any weather instrument that they can use to measure any of the weather elements? <coughs> Is there anyone who has any idea? Yes, let's get trials from the class. Any element you know, just name it. Don't give me what it does. Just name it. Then we shall find out what it does. Yes, let us get it from Stacy. <coughs> Windsock. Yes, Windsock is. A weather instrument. That is good. Another trial. Yes, Brian. Wind vane. Yes, there is an instrument known as wind vane. We shall find out what it measures. Uh -huh. That is good. Any other trial, Lavella? There is a anemometer. This is a weather instrument used to measure an element that we shall discuss here. That is good. And we get another trial from the class. Yes, Elisha. Thermometer, that is good. We have a thermometer. Any other trial? The winner? A rain gauge. Yes. Have we exhausted all of them? Let's find out. Benedict. Barometer. That is right. That is good. That is good. Yes, very rainfall. That is nice. So we talked about so many weather instruments. Instruments used to measure the weather elements we have. And the weather elements we have include temperature, clouds, rainfall, wind, air pressure, sunshine, and humidity. So let us find out those weather instruments that you mentioned and what they do. Which weather elements do they measure? So we shall move on and find out the weather instruments. The weather instruments are so many. So our first weather instrument is maximum and minimum thermometer. Can someone tell me what a thermometer does? What does it measure? It is an instrument used to measure weather elements. What do you think is measured? Which element is measured by a thermometer? Yes, the child from the class. Yes, exactly. Measure 
question temperature. What is temperature? Yes, Benedict. The coldness or hotness of a place. That is cool. So we have the maximum and the minimum thermometer. And we're going to see do they look alike or is there a difference between these two weather instruments? So the weather instrument, the mark, uh, minimum and maximum thermometer, they contain mercury and alcohol. We shall find out more from the pictures that we shall see. If we continue, we are going to see the next weather instrument. And our next weather instrument is hydrometer. Is there anyone who has ever heard of hydrometer? What does it mean? Any child of that? Yes, Regina. Very good. Let's give her a clap. So, your hydrometer is an instrument used to measure relative humidity. What is humidity, class? Humidity is the amount of vapor in the atmosphere. Normally, in the morning when you wake up and check on the grass, you will see dew, some water on the grass. Have you ever come across that? Yeah. Yes, as you come to school, you find that there is water on the grass. Or do you think it is going to pass the water overnight? Mm -hmm. That is because of the vapor, water vapor, the humidity in the atmosphere. There is some water particles in the atmosphere. So the hydrometer is used to measure humidity. Let's check at the next weather instrument. Just from its name, rain day. What do you think? A rain day measures. Yes. Just from its name, you can guess what it measures. Yes, Charles. Good. A rain gauge is an instrument used to measure the amount of <coughs> rainfall. Or you hear us talking of precipitation. So the amount of rainfall that falls on the ground every day or any time we have rainfall, we shall measure using an instrument known as rain gauge. Let us check at the next weather instrument. And the next weather instrument is barometer. I hope you heard of barometer. What is the work or what is the role of a barometer? Any trial from the class? Any trial from the class? What do we use a barometer for? Yes, violet. A barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure. Can you all say atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure. So if you want to know the pressure in the atmosphere, you're going to use a barometer. And from our projector, we shall see how does it look like. So we shall check on the next one, which is sunshine recorder. Can you say sunshine recorder? Sunshine recorder. You can get it used from its name, sunshine. So, what is the role of a sunshine recorder? Any trial from the class? Any trial? What does it measure? Yes, let's give a trial from any person. Yes, Lavenda. The sunshine recorder is an instrument used to measure the amount of sunshine, the amount of sunshine. So, after we have talked about it, we shall check how does it look like? What does it measure? We shall see it in our video that we shall watch at the end of it. Let's check at the next one, which is a wind vane. What is the role of a wind vane? What does it measure? Yes, Charles. Good. A wind vane is used to show the direction of the wind. And you realize that the wind vane has got the compass, it also got, it also has got the arrow. The arrow with point or the tail with point, we shall find out where does the arrow point and where does the tail point. Which one points where the wind is blowing from and which one points where the wind is blowing to. So we shall find out from our diagram that we shall see. Then let's find the next one. We have the wind sock. Who knows the role of a wind sock? <coughs> I think this is the easiest to make, so who can tell us what is the role of a wind sock? Yes. What is the role of a wind sock? Cynthia. The wind sock has got two roles. Role number one, the wind sock can show us the direction. Then the wind sock can also 
show us or can measure the strength of the wind. It has got something that looks like a balloon or a pair of socks. So once the air feels that sir, it will show the direction where the wind is blowing to. And if it is straight, it means the wind is so strong. So a wind sock is used to measure the strength of wind and it also shows the direction of wind. That is good. So uh, we have the next one, which is the anemometer. Can we say anemometer? Anemometer. 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 Good. Anemometer is an instrument that has got stuff like the things that look like a cup. And those are the things that will help us get the element that we want to measure. So which other element do you think anemometer measures? Very good. I can see everyone is. Okay, yes, the initial. And the momentum measures them. Sorry, come up again. I'm not getting you. Very good. And the momentum measures the speed of wind. Now, we've talked about these weather instruments. They measure the weather elements that you mentioned. So let us see what we have next. We have the next one that will come on our screen, we're going to have the weather instruments, the drawings. You shall see the drawings of the weather instruments. Then we shall also see what functions you've given me, if they are the correct ones. So we have the first one. We have the first one. So which weather instrument is this? This weather instrument shows the minimum and the maximum thermometer. And these two put together, they measure the temperature. They measure the temperature, how hot or cold a place is. So we have the maximum and minimum thermometer. You can check at that. What does it measure? It measures temperature. So if you can look at that, at least you remember that a thermometer measures temperature. So we shall look at the next weather instrument. And here it is. Who can tell me which weather instrument is this? Any child? Have you ever come across this? Uh, who can tell me what it is? If you look at it clearly, what do you think it is? Yes. Uh huh. Viola. Good. This is an hygrometer. So, hygrometer is used to measure relative humidity. It is used to measure the water vapor. Can you say water vapor? Water vapor. The water vapor we find, uh, we find in the atmosphere. So it will keep on moving. It will keep on moving. You see at this hand, it will keep on moving, showing the humidity available. The amount of air that is in the air. Once uh, the amount of water that is found in the air. So that is an hygrometer. Let's see if it's what is what you mentioned. So hygrometer is used to measure relative humidity. We move to the next one, and our next instrument is... Who can get what that is? Who can we use this instrument here? Who can get? Yes, Benita? Very good. Let's now go in turn. Yes, this instrument here is a gauge. If you look at it carefully, you will find that it has got a scale. So every time there is rainfall, the water will come and go through this funnel. So the water is channeled into this tube and <coughs> it is measured. The measurement use or the unit use here is millimeter. So rainfall is measured by this weather instrument and it is measured in millimeter. So that instrument we have there is a rain gauge and it measures rainfall. That is good. We move to the next weather instrument, and our next weather instrument is the one drawn on our projector. So which weather instrument is this? This weather instrument is known as barometer. Can you say barometer? Barometer. What is its use? You can confirm. A barometer measures atmospheric pressure. So you are giving me the correct answer. We go to the next one. And our next weather instrument is this one. It looks beautiful. This one really looks beautiful. What do you think it is? If you look at it carefully, what do you think it is? Let's raise your hand. You can guess which one you think this one is. 
Yes, Charles. Very good. Let's give him a clap. That is wonderful. This figure drawn here is the one used to measure sunshine. And its name is Sunshine Recorder. That is nice. So this is a sunshine recorder and its work is to measure sunshine duration. How long did we have sunshine? For how long? What was the period? And how was it? Did we have strong heat or was it just okay? So sunshine recorder measures sunshine duration. So we move to the next one and we find Ah, wow, blue in color. So which other instrument is that? It really looks nice. So which other instrument is that? Which other instrument is that? Yes, Regina. This is a wind bell. The wind bell has an arrow. Look at the arrow. The wind bell has got the compass. So we show the direction of the wind using the compass, whether it is north, south, east or west. Then if you look at this arrow, uh, this has a tail and it has the head. So the head always points where the wind is blowing to. Why the tail points where the wind is blowing from? The tail is heavier. So it is the head that will point where the wind is going to. Why the tail, this heavy part, will show where the wind is coming from. Then you can have a look at it. Where do you think the wind is blowing to? Use the compass. Is it towards east, south, north, west? If you have a look at it carefully. Yes. If you have a look at it carefully. Where do you think it is blowing to? Where do you think it is blowing to? If I can take a tip, yes, I can see. Yes. And it starts from the glass. Ready? Yes. If we can check at the head, it is pointing towards north. So the wind is blowing to north, towards north. Where is it blowing from? Yes. Where is it blowing from? Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from, Eunice? It is coming from? She's saying west. Uh, she has tried. That is a good trial, Eunice. Though if you check at this carefully, we realize that she's not towards west. But that is a good trial. Any other trial? Yes, Bennett. It is coming from south. That is good. So that weather instrument we talked about is a wind vane and it shows the direction of the wind. The next weather instrument we have is a beautiful one here. Have you ever seen this? Who knows what this is? Who knows what this is? Yes, Brian, what is this? Good. This is a wind song. Look at this that looks like a sun. It is this part that the wind will come to. If it is slanting this way, it means the wind is not very strong. But if it comes straight like that, it means the wind is very strong. The strength of the wind can be seen how strong the wind is. And where it points to, that is where the wind is going to. So don't forget that a wind stop has got two functions. Number one, the strength of the wind. Number two, the duration of the wind. Let us look at the next one. So you can see that the wind song. It measures the strength and shows the direction of wind. The next one also has cups. <coughs> can I use these cups to take water? No, no. Can I use them for my tea? No. But why do we have the cups there? Anyway, which other instrument is this that has cups? I can go and get a cup. Okay, which weather instrument is this that has got cups? Yes, Nevina? This is a thermometer. And what is the role of a thermometer? Why do you think it has these cups and not the arrow? What is the role of a thermometer? Any trial? Mm -hmm. Any trial? Yes. Very? This thing measures the speed of wind. This instrument, look at these cups. When there is wind blowing, the wind will feed each and every cup. Then they start rotating. I am glad we have a video and we shall see how it keeps on rotating. Then we look, to, we look at the next one. It measures the wind speed. Very good. So, after seeing all those weather instruments, if you want to get more notes, kindly read. Secondary Form 1 Geography by KLB. 
you check from page 16 all the way to page 40. You can also read Certificate Geography for One, Oxford University Press. And our next topic after the video, we shall learn about weather forecasting. So weather forecasting will be our next lesson. So we are going to watch the next video on the weather instruments. Yes, let's get a video that we're going to watch. We have the next video. is 
an instrument right here. It actually has two thermometers on it. And what we do is we, we wrap one bulb of the thermometer with a wet uh, gauze. And the other, that is called a wet bulb. And the other thermometer is left without anything. That's the dry bulb. You then take the psychrometer, hold it by the handle here, and literally sling it round and round and round. What happens is, is the, the wet bulb, this moisture from the wet bulb evaporates into the air. As it evaporates, evaporation causes cooling. And so after you sling this for a minute or so, you stop. The wet bulb temperature is going to then probably be lower than the dry bulb temperature. And what we do is we take the difference in the wet bulb and dry bulb temperature, go over here to a chart. And with that chart, we can find the difference in wet and dry bulb. And from that, and then we, we look at the uh, dry bulb temperature, and from that, we can determine the relative humidity, how much moisture is in the atmosphere. Here at a given temperature. When we have that information, we can then go to uh, another chart and we can look at the relative humidity and the temperature and we can determine the... Okay, now we've seen some of the weather instruments and I hope you can now tell any other person how each of the weather instruments you've learned today look like and what they use to measure. So that is all for today. Next time we shall meet here again for our geography lesson and talk of weather forecasting. So for now, we shall say it is the end of our lesson. Finally, read from the textbooks that I've just mentioned. Thank you so much. Dew point. The dew point is the temperature.